Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in San Francisco, where I'm now delighted to be joined by Cindy Halson, Chief Data and AI Strategy Officer at ThoughtSpot, along with Nilesh Kolkarni, VP of Data and Analytics at Cisco. Such a pleasure to be with both of you here today. Looking forward. Great time. Thanks for having us. Looking forward to diving in. Cindy, to start with, ThoughtSpot has been building business-friendly search for over a decade. And with the increased rise of Gen AI and LLMs, how is the very nature of interacting with data and seeking factual insights changing for everyday business users? And what major trends are you seeing in this space over the past few years? Yeah, and so I've been in the industry for 30 years and there's never been a more exciting time Data in AI is now a boardroom conversation and every, I would say not even every business person, every citizen in the world can now ask data of their questions. So ThoughtSpot, the Agentic Analytics pl Platform, Insight to Action, powered by agents. Love to hear it, Cindy. And Nilesh, from, from your standpoint, Similarly, Cisco's mission really revolves around creating an inclusive future for all. And as AI becomes one of the most transformative technologies of our time, how is your purpose guiding Cisco's strategy in developing AI-driven solutions, serving to help your customers navigate the opportunities and complexities of this AI era? Yeah, so if you think about it right now, I think our purpose is really enabling our stakeholders uh, make them uh, really get insights and all the uh, uh, things that AI can offer uh, as quickly as possible, right? I think there's been a lot of buzz around AI, but how do we make it impactful as soon as possible? So we are enabling platforms um, and making them uh, available for our users. Uh, so ThoughtSpot, for example, Cisco's Cortex, for example, right? These are the platforms that we are enabling so that our users can immediately get into uh, the AI business and get what they can get out of it. It's wonderful to hear. Thank you for the collective's perspectives. And we're here at Snowflake Summit and the buzz and excitement is all around us. I want to dive into the AI data cloud for a moment. How does the AI data cloud platform serve as a central really nervous system for your collective data strategies and foundations? Cindy, why don't we start with you? Yeah, so I think this is really important that you cannot do AI without data. Right. And more of that data is existing in the Snowflake AI data cloud. And I think in the past, people would take data out of a trusted system, put it in a range of tools for ThoughtSpot and Cisco. And we've been on this partnership journey for more than six years. In fact, Cisco helped us develop the integration with Snowflake. It's getting to the most granular insights that you have in your trusted data sources in Snowflake. Wonderful to hear, Cindy, and Noah, from your perspective. Um, I would completely echo what Cindy is saying here, right? Uh, I think today we have, Cisco has, uh, I would say, one of the biggest, uh, Snowflake has one of the biggest presence uh, in, in Cisco's ecosystem. Um, and uh, we have enterprise data, you know, Cisco has acquired multiple organizations, as you would have heard, uh, latest being Splunk. Uh, and so, a lot of that data, not just the enterprise data, but all of the various views that we have, a lot of that data today sits on Snowflake. And so when you have to do your own thing, that's fine. But now with all the features that uh, Snowflake is bringing on board, uh, it helps for a lot of these teams to really bring that data together, to bring that meaningful insight at a central level. And these are all the features, though I was excited to hear about a lot of the new announcements that happened in Snowflake uh, in the keynote that Sridhar made. And some of these things we are going to be uh, you know, utilizing and it's going to help us to bring that ecosystem together better. It's, it's wonderful to hear and it's clear that we're very much past that AI hype cycle and now in the time of ROI and business value. For the companies and leaders at the, the front of the pack, what steps have they already taken to best position themselves for that long-term success in this era of enterprise AI? Cindy, would love your thoughts. So the biggest thing is, is to really align to your business strategy. Your AI strategy should be your business strategy and not treat it as just a technology play. The other thing is bringing people along on the journey. It's easier to change the tech than it is 25-year-old mindsets and habits. So things like Cisco has communities of practice 
AI literacy is something to focus on as well. Couldn't agree. It very much have that, that top-down approach, Cindy, and know it's from your seat. Um, completely. I think business impact, business impact, and business impact, right? I think um, I think last year, I would say there is still a lot of excitement about, you know, there is I would what I would call as a use case chase, really, like people were figuring out, hey, this is cool to do, right? I mean, this is interesting and so on and so forth. But at this point of time, you know, I think I would say every CEO of a major company is asking uh, or is being asked in their boards as to like, how are you really driving optimization, efficiencies, productivity with all that AI that has to offer? And some of the things that we are focused on, you know, like, for example, what ThoughtSpot also offers is really how do you cut down that time uh, to get back insights? Uh, make it user friendly. Um, you know, we are also getting into the operations aspects of it. How do we like make our operations more efficient? Um, really extract those efficiencies um, and 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 have a business impact. So at this point, I think the there is still coolness there about AI. Yeah. Right? Oh, it is uh, cool. Absolutely. Uh, it's fun. But, but uh, I think the leaders now are being held accountable as to you know what is it? What are the metrics that you are really delivering? with all that AI can offer. Fantastic perspective. Now I want to look towards what's next. What can we expect down the road from ThoughtSpot and Cisco collectively? Cindy, let's start with you. Yeah, so if we look back, boy, things are moving quickly. Last year was the year of AI agents. This year, it's about agent orchestration. And so even just this week, we released uh, our own MCP server, Model Context Protocol. And being able to take maybe a Snowflake agent, a ServiceNow agent, and then call ThoughtSpot a spotter agent. So maybe at Cisco, you're looking at that customer is bringing people back to office or remote work. You're pulling data from um, external data sources, marrying it with your internal trusted Snowflake data and getting insights, it's amazing. Wonderful. Yeah. It's like rocket science, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I think that's great to hear, right? I think these are some of the things because it's uh, getting information from a single source is obviously that is what we started off with. But now your information is going to be in ThoughtSpot. Your information is going to be in Snowflake. It's going to be about, you know, hey, what, uh, you know, data engineering processes are running. How's your governance model set up? If there is an issue, where do you get that information and how do you link it together? Uh, so some of these orchestration mechanisms now become very critical. Internally also, as we are running and ramping up operations, we are uh, you know really putting our next step forward in terms of a lot of the technologies that you talked about, like the MCP and so on. Um, and, and, and seeing how can we now really make it, uh, rather than just an information uh, coming back to us, it's more around what are the things that you can do with it. Right. Um, and I think that's going to be the key focus uh, and, and bringing it all together. Well, wonderful to hear. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Yeah, yeah. thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon.